Well, we've been busy. We've done this and that, and built this and that, and worked on this and that, fixed this and that, got cut, lid, bruised, beat, and we've done it for a hundred episodes now. So I want to thank you all and thank all the people involved, especially Bo, for doing all our editing and doing the great work on that. Thank Jared that's been on on here helping me. Thank my lovely wife for no good reason, just so she doesn't yell at me. I just uh, hope to continue to do this. Um, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell the people you like, tell the people you don't like, tell your ex-girlfriend to come watch the show because, uh, you know, I want to keep doing this. I want to send the word out, show this kind of stuff without becoming a school teacher because I don't like kids. <gasps> I'm just kidding about kids. But thank you, and keep watching. Love you all. All it takes is one job, one job, oh yeah. All it takes is one job, one job, and everything is gonna be okay. So a project that y'all haven't seen is the airport limo. Now the airport limo I worked on before I had a YouTube show. So let's kind of look at it first. This is the airport limo. There's 23 of them made in 1958 and this is one of them. This one spent its life in, it was either Wyoming or Montana. And it served as a transport from one town to the next, like a bus. And it probably served a few purposes because there's some sort of lettering that's kind of peeled back here and then on the back you could see something about airlines or something so it probably actually was an airport limo at one point in time an airport limo was a vehicle that would take you from the airport building itself out to the airplane before they had what do you call those things tarmex or that rack is so cool the rack is super cool but this would take you to a staircase next to the airplane that you would uh, walk up we are restoring this but not in the sense of actually using anything off this we're not using one piece this is an inspiration yeah this is a <laughs> this is our muse i don't even think that there's any reason to take anything off like we could use the emblems maybe and they those can be super expensive i don't know even the it's kind of better to have the painted ones re-chrome than the chrome ones re-chrome they tend to turn out a little better but on these uh suburbans or carryalls as they called them plymouth actually used the word suburban not Chevy in the early years you know Chevy made these doors but they never made a door back here this has one door back here and that side has three doors in the back and you can kind of see that cage thing I was talking about and uh, so I have actually already built the chassis for this it already has the front end on it it already runs and drives the chassis isn't here yet you'll be able to see it later it's pretty cool but we have to make all these rear doors, like actually make them. So that's gonna be interesting. That's probably gonna be the hardest part of this build. The other hard part was, this is what the coach company started with when they built that. So what they did was they took one of these, and these are the long three quarter ton, one ton carry all panels. So these were stretched, they built the doors, and the problem with it, when they did these, it was very crude. The inside of the doors on that one is some sort of like AC heating and ducting looking central air system, <laughs> and it's not much better. And they had this, it was like a, a goop, like something between caulking and body filler that they would make a lot of the the corners with and stuff it's just a that thing is a complete disaster so i'm going to take two of them to make it because it the like where they would gas weld this big triangle in the roof of that and just absolutely destroy everything going on there 
we're going to use a real roof and have a nice single seam coming across it. What we're basically going to do here is we're going to cut the back off of one of these, whichever one we decide, and then we're going to cut the front off the other one and that'll make our length so like this one would be cut here the other one would be cut here and that should give us enough length to make the whole thing and then we have to cut in all the doors make all the door jams it's going to be quite the endeavor i have three truck cabs out back for door jams we got these two we got a whole stack of doors out back to make doors because it's gonna take two doors to make each one door. We searched and searched for these things, ended up finding them both in California about six blocks from each other. So we gotta decide which one has the best barn doors. You can kind of see how they did the floor and we're gonna kind of replicate that in the new one. Which insides we're using, which outsides we're using. There's just a lot to take into account to say which back we're using and which front we're using. You know, something like this, where it's banged in here, we might be able to take something, well, this one's even worse. So, you know, there might be a section that we actually cut out of one just for the rear patch or something like that. But at least the drivetrain's done, frame's done. I even got the floor braces done. I don't have the wood done yet. This body actually bolts down through the wood and that's how the body actually holds on to the truck. So we got to do that. We got to watch out for stuff like this. You know, any signs that this thing has just major body damage that has been covered up. This one appears to be the cleaner one, but you know, it could have been, you know, obviously it was repainted. Obviously it was yellow, probably, I don't know, something for the school district or county or something. And uh, since it's been repainted, it, it could be covering up just tons of filler or worse. This one looks like it's been sandblasted and kind of given up on. So we got that. Oh boy and girls, I don't know. I don't know. But you know what? We're gonna find out. Oh my god, look at that rat shit. Holy cow, it is thick too. Oh, there's some liquor. There's liquor over there. What? There's liquor. Liquor? Oh. Got me all excited. <laughs> Can't drink that. <laughs> look at the rat shit, you can eat that. So we got these cleaned up, power washing it, brought back some of the blue, 7825, Sipid, Sipidivia, Van Nuys, I'm sure I butchered that. Anyways, got it cleaned out, got this one cleaned up, this was the worst one, windows out. What kind of surprised me, on these back doors, these aren't flat glass. So, carefully took all those out, threw away the windshields. One was in good shape, but it had uh, windshield wiper marks, and who uses a used windshield anyways? I do need to get these bumpers off the back, but I think we're ready to go to sandblast. All it takes is one job, one job, oh yeah! Takes this one job, one job, and everything is gonna be okay!